In terms of computer science, the world is your oyster. Society is data-driven. These days, medicine is data-driven. So you can use computer science skills for just about any field that you want to go into. Computer science has had a huge impact on genomics and genomic medicine. Genomics is the study of a genome. And a genome is uh, all of the DNA within an individual. It's the set of instructions that determine what makes that person unique. Uh, and when we do genomics, we're really talking about taking that person's DNA and sequencing them to identify everything, all of their molecular variation that makes them them. It is the use of our genome to help physicians and scientists learn more about ourselves, and in particular for geneticists and physicians in general, to take that information and use it to personalize your care. Hudson Alpha is a genomics institute. All of the research that happens here happens in that area. They made a number of large investments, uh, both in the cutting edge sequencing technology, but also in the IT infrastructure and the storage and the compute that's required to do those sorts of analyses. Hudson Alpha has made a, a tremendous investment in genomic medicine through the foundation of the Clinical Services Lab, which provides data for physicians who are integrating genetic information into healthcare. We've also founded the Smith Family Clinic uh, that Dr. David Bick and his clinical team see patients who are interested in genes and health. Cody or Codicum is a software that we developed in-house. So when we talk about sequencing a genome, in order to do that, there had to be advances in sequencing technology, imaging, microfluidics. But at the same time, because when you sequence a genome, you get a terabyte of DNA, in order to do anything with it, we had to have advances on the computational side as well. The goal of that software is when you sequence a person's genome and you identify all of those things that make that person unique, those molecular variations or variants as we call them, you end up with six or six and a half million per person. When we're sequencing a person to determine what's causing their genetic disease, you have to find the one or two variants that are actually doing that. So you have to go from six million data points to a couple. And Cody is the software that we've developed to do that. So it takes that molecular information, it annotates it with information, it applies some algorithms to prioritize those variants in terms of their association with disease, uh, and it allows the user to come in and interact with the software to do that. The Clinical Services Lab is a laboratory here at Hudson Alpha that was established to facilitate providers using genomic information in the care of their patients. We use the CODI program when a genome has been ordered by a physician and they want us to look in the genome and see if there's if we can identify anything that's relevant to the patient's health care. So it tells us, is this something that's been seen before? Has it been seen in healthy people? Has it been seen in sick people? Is it rare? What does it do to the gene? It sort of aggregates that information for us so we can look at one spot and have all the information that you need to kind of integrate what's known or not known about a particular variant to determine whether it's relevant. I work in the laboratory of Dr. Greg Cooper. Um, we basically study individuals who have rare disease and we try to identify molecular diagnoses for those individuals. So when we sequence uh, DNA, we get tons of data off of the sequencers and then those have to go through several different um, computational platforms that computational biologists and other developers here at Hudson Alpha have set up for us. Basically what we do is we curate that data. So we look at um, what is known about a variant or a gene and we do the uh, legwork of going back to research that particular gene's function, um, that variant, what's known about it, and how that might be implicated in a disease that's presented by you know, the individual that we sequenced. If I sequenced you and I sequenced me, there would be about five million differences between us. And of those five million differences, almost all of them are benign. They're things like hair color and eye color. But hidden in among those, those changes, those differences, are a few things which are of medical consequence. And so what we do as the clinical lab director and the uh, other individuals involved in analyzing the genome, we take that medical information that we've gotten from the clinicians, and then we use Cody to sort through those DNA changes which relate to those particular medical conditions. In all honesty, our job would not be possible without the support of all the computational biologists and everything that we work with here at Hudson Alpha. If you really wanted to solve some of the hard problems, 
in genetics that you had to use software to do so or you had to develop algorithms to do so. So I'm lucky enough that I work with a team of software developers and together we solve these problems. For individuals who are thinking about getting into a computing science career, that will turn out to be enormously helpful in many, many branches of medicine and science. Try to find an application for the computer science that interests you. And it's a wide variety of applications that are available. If you identify that you like computers, then take some other classes that are not just computer science classes so that you can see how you want to apply them and which field you want to work in. So if you like biology and you like computer science, well, there's a career for that 